Hey guys, today I'm going to mill, uh, use the Alaskan mill and mill this ash log into lumber for a uh, table or conference table type of live edge type of uh, desk slash conference table. Um, to start, I need to get this aluminum plank secured. Uh, level is ideal but as long as it's secure, whatever direction it's secure, and, and these two rails are parallel to each other. They're not doing this or back and forth, and this is rigid, so that won't happen. So I just need to make sure this is secure in whatever position it is. I'm going to try and get it pretty level, but it doesn't have to be, because once you do your first cut, the next cut is relative to the first cut. This is only for the first cut. Once you have a flat surface you're working from, every board will be just as flat as the surface, potentially just as flat as the surface you just took it off of. So, there you go. You can use this for every cut. You can, but you don't have to. And I generally don't because it gets to be a pain in the butt. Alright, so I'm going to get this going here. When you do this, you just want to make sure that whatever length of screw or nail or whatever you're using, you take into account when you cut the depth of your first cut so you don't hit the screw with your chainsaw. Alright, so you can see the bubble. I have a slight lean that direction, but it's pretty consistent throughout. So I'm going to be fine with that. Because once that top board comes off, it will have a lean to it, but the next board, it'll all... My first cut is going to be 6 inches. 4 inches for the depth of the... Um, plank, and then I'm going to go two inches down into the tree. So a total of six inches, so I need to adjust. These all adjust with your chainsaw wrench, too, but. Uh, It is just a little easier to do this. You gotta be careful when you do tighten these that you don't over tighten and crack this aluminum, which I've done. There's a graduated measurement on the side of the, each one of these posts so you know where you're at. When you put this on, and you clamp it on, you need to make sure that it's not going to pinch the runners where the chain goes.
so I'm gonna show you the depth of this log here. See how thick that is? I'm gonna save that. I probably could have got another, wouldn't have been an eight foot board, but I could have probably got another six feet out of that uh, smaller board. But by cutting a little thicker, this will make a nice bench. Ash is a less expensive wood. And right now there's so much of it because of the emerald ash borer. It's pretty much everywhere. If you want it. Some of that crotch figure. I mean, it's pretty. It's similar to oak. Red oak. So when they're stained, a lot of people can't tell much of a difference. So for a chainsaw mill, that's a pretty good finish. So we're just going to keep going right across the top of that. I don't know if you can see it or not, but by not having the plank on that carries over, when that chainsaw gets to this end, it wants to start dropping and you end up with a little messed up ends. Um, you should probably put the plank back on and try it again. on the saw back and forth. That's what happens. You really want to try to avoid having to do that. It's good though. 